Hello darling and welcome to my channel. I'm Rhonda, the Perfume Maven, and on this channel we discover fragrance. So in today's video, I just want to go over some perfumes that I recently acquired that I added to my collection for this summer. So if you're interested to know what I picked up, just stay tuned. Hello darlings, here we are back again with another video. And this video is just going to be going over a mini summer perfume haul. I have five fragrances that I actually picked up and I also picked up a couple of samples. So I want to just, you know, dive right in and show you guys what I picked up. So this first one that I did pick up, I actually did get it in a gift set and it came with lotions and things of that nature. But it is C Passion. I've been wanting to get this for quite a while. I did have a sample that I went through that sample and I knew that I wanted to pick it up so you guys I did actually purchase this on Macari so I've had this perfume on my radar for quite a while and I was really really intrigued after I purchased C Fiori I knew that I wanted this C Passion it has been out for quite some time but I just waited till I was able to find a good deal but you guys I have worn this perfume several times so I'm at a point now where I can actually give a full-blown review on it and actually does have black currant which black currant is kind of shampooy smelling but so it is a clean fruity scent but it's very mature so I did go ahead and pick up this C Passion and this is a full bottle 100 ml and it did come with two lotions and a purse spray so I did pick up this C Passion and I will be sharing my thoughts on this perfume a full-blown review so definitely stay tuned for that so again this is C Passion this is the 3.400 ml this is an eau de parfum yes C Passion okay so this next fragrance that i actually picked up you guys i did show this one on instagram i did not get it in a full size i only got it in the 30 mil and it is the new la nuit nude from lancome i would say i've worn this a couple of times it's like a coconutty scent it's probably about the maybe the sixth or seventh flanker from this house you guys i would say i'm not really too impressed by it i mean it's nice but i do have a couple of pet peeves about this fragrance that i will be sharing with you guys i did go ahead and pick up this one ounce 30 ml uh la nuit nude treasure and this is an eau de toilette so yeah this isn't an eau de parfum as the other ones so this one i'm kind of like eh, on the fence about it but i did just want to go ahead and show you guys that i picked this up and again this one is a la nuit nude treasure and it's from the house of lancome okay so moving right along this next one i also did feature on instagram as well and this is from the house of moogler and this is alien old sublime you guys i actually tried this out when i was in sephora and it had to been about two years ago i really liked it when i did try it in sephora but right now it's been so long. Hmm. I just had it on my wish list. So once I seen it for a good deal, I went ahead and I picked it up. I do have mixed feelings about this. The bottle is very, very pretty though, but I don't love this. I liked it when I first smelt it in Sephora. I actually sprayed it on me. I was like, oh, that's pretty. It's a pretty version of Alien. It does have like this peppery aspect to it that I'm really not too fond of. I'm gonna have to wear this. I haven't worn it yet since I did pick it up. I haven't worn it because every time I just spray it on paper. But you know what? I am going to spray Spray it. I am gonna wear it. I'm gonna spray it, and so I can give a full in-depth review, or even do a comparison between this Au Sublime and the Alien Flora Futura to see which one. Well, I did start to really like Alien Flora Futura. Not a love, but I do really like it. It it works well for me in a transition from summer to fall. But this one, it has that citrus and pepper. So I don't know. See now, it, it's like I'm really liking it now. I don't know, I'm gonna have to wear it on my skin and see. But yeah, I just sprayed it on paper. I haven't sprayed it on my skin, but I did get this one in the 60 mil, which is a two ounce. This is an eau de toilette. So we'll just have to see about this Alien Old Sublime from the House of Moogler. 
Okay, so this next one, I was really, really torn on if I should actually buy this one. You guys, I have a sample and I completely went through that sample. It's not a crowd pleasing scent, but I actually started to love this and I was spraying this before I went to bed. And it is from the house of Gucci. This is Gucci Memoir Dune Adore. And you guys, this is in the 100 ml, 3.3 ounce. This is an Oda. Parfum. This is such a nostalgic type of perfume. It is something that is comforting. It's not a crowd pleasing scent, but it's more of like a, it takes you back, it reminds you of things like, I would say, oh, see, I think this smells really, really nice. I, I really enjoyed the sample that I had, so I knew I wanted to pick this up. I actually got the gift set, which, here is the box for the gift set. And it did come with the 75 ml shower gel. And you guys, I'm gonna tell you, I've been spraying the mess out of this since I've gotten it. It's been a while since I went through the sample. It's been a while, it's been a couple months. I wanna say I went through that sample maybe around April-ish. And I was just waiting on trying to find a good deal for this perfume and I finally found a good deal. This is such a comforting scent. And it does have like a note of camel Meal. It reminds me of when I had the chicken pox when I was a little girl. My mom put chamomile lotion on me and that has chamomile in it. And I just remember that scent, but it was so comforting when my mom rubbed that a chamomile lotion on me and that scent stuck with me since I was a kid. So when I smell this, wow. It really reminds me of that. So this is very nostalgic to me. My goodness, I, I love this scent. I haven't really been wearing any of my Gucci fragrances except for my Gucci Floras. Those are the only ones that I've been really been wearing. And I did recently pick up Gucci Guilty Love. And you guys, I've literally only sprayed that one time since I picked it up. And I probably will be getting rid of that one because it, eh, it's not enough for me. Yeah, but I did go in with this. I need to quit smelling. This smells so good. I just need to quit. Again, this one is Gucci Memoir Duna Tour. This one is the 3.3 ounce 100 ml Eau de Parfum. Can't wait to give a full review on this. So yeah. This is from Gucci. So let's move on right on to my last perfume, my little summer perfume. And you guys, before I get into this next perfume, I just wanna say, I know my mood is kinda down a little bit because I'm feeling a little sad, just a little because of the things that's been going on in my life since April. I'm trying to, you know, kinda get back into the swing of things. And also, I want to thank everyone that has sent me well wishes and asked if I was okay i really appreciate it i just been like i said i've been going through some things and i didn't have some very unfortunate things happen and this is my place of peace of me getting fragrances and you know smelling them and that's why i really decided to pick up this gucci because it may it, it's comforting to me so yeah let me put this back in the box. <laughs> but one, once I'm comfortable to share with you guys what's been going on with me since April, since my last video, which my last video was my spring, spring perfumes. And literally right after that video, some things happened and I completely shut down. So that's where I've been. And I do apologize to everyone that has been waiting for me to upload a video. Um. Okay, so let me... Get on to this last fragrance. Um, this last one I picked up, I also went through the sample. I purchased a little one meal sample of it. I loved it. So I went ahead and I got it. And it is from Balenciaga. This is Flora Botanica. This is either a love or a hate, you guys. But when I first, first tried it, I, eh, I don't know. It just wasn't my cup of tea. So I had just kept seeing, seeing it, seeing it, seeing it. So I decided, well, let me try it. You know, let me just get a sample again because I had the little dabber and I actually sold that on Mercari. I went ahead and I ended up buying the spray sample and I sprayed it a couple of times and then I wore it to bed and oh my goodness, the rose. This is really nice. And I picked this up in the 100 ml. This is a 3.3 ounce or the Parfum. I actually had Rosa Botanica and I know for sure I'm not gonna buy that one again because I actually had the 1.7 ounce, 1.6 or 1.7 ounce. At first when I got it, I didn't like it. 
And then I said, well, let me try it again. So I tried it again. And then it was like, okay, it's not bad. And that was like in the springtime, maybe two years ago, a year and a half ago, something like that. I tried to wear it one more time and it was a no-go. So I ended up selling that one. So I did pick this one up and I would definitely leave a link down below in the description on where you can find this bottle. Cause I got this bottle for around $80, you guys. So I'ma definitely leave a link of where I got it from. They are 100% authentic. Love the seller that I'm getting it from. And I will definitely share them with you guys. I will leave a link in the description for this Flora Botanica, pretty much all of them. I will leave links down below. So be sure to check the description box down below. Again, I do apologize that, I've, that I'm sounding like I'm in the dumps. But I did wanna share this mini perfume, summer perfume haul of what I did pick up. So I did get the Parfums de Marley, the Discovery set where you get Delina, Meliora, Darcy, Safanade, and Athalia. You guys, I did pick up the Discovery set with the five samples because there's a lot of buzz about Parfums de Marley and I actually have a sample of Delina. So I already knew what Delina smelled like. So I wanted to try the others. And then I end up picking up another sample of Costly. So now I have six of them. The only one that I, the only two that I haven't smelled yet is the one in the white box. And also Delina exclusive. I want to smell those two. I'm trying to find samples. I'll just get a sample or decant of those two so I can really give you my full impression on these parfums the Marley. So definitely stay tuned for that. And these fragrances are really expensive. So I am definitely going to buy decants and samples because these are not sponsored. They're not sponsored. So all this stuff that I'm getting, I'm spending my own money on them. And also in a way, I kind of like it that way because I can give my honest opinion. I'm not being paid to, you know, y'all know how I sponsor content goes. So I do purchase 95%. No, I would actually say 99% of perfumes that I have, I bought. So yeah, we're gonna leave that right there. But you guys, this is my mini summer haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any of these fragrances that I just talked about, that I just showed you, comment down below and let me know your thoughts on these perfumes. And I definitely look forward to creating more videos. I have a, a couple of them already queued up that is ready to go. So they'll be dropping really soon. So I really missed you guys. Be sure to like, comment, and definitely subscribe. And also click the notification bell so you'll be notified every time that I upload. Thank you so much for tuning in and I can't wait to see you in my next video.